praise the lord every good gift comes from the father of goodness and now we are blessed and privileged to have the beautiful season of advent advent is the time that before christmas we prepare our hearts and our minds to receive the lord into our lives my dear friends in today's first week of advent the first reading is taken from the book of isaiah chapter 2 verse 1 to 5 here the prophet says come to the mountain of the lord the mountain of the lord will be raised above all the mountains yes there are so many mountains in the world but mountains of the lord is a significant one which will be raised up to guide all the mountains what is this mountain of the lord it is the very presence of the lord god tells us in this world where we have all kinds of things all kinds of needs of us to be fulfilled we need someone to be with us to guide us to love us to empower us so god says i am there for you come there are so many types of obstacles struggles so we need somebody to be with us to overcome all that god says come as we grow we need guidance and direction for our lives so god says come i am there for you so the lord is calling us if we look into the uh, book of exodus chapter 15 verse 25 when the people of israel when they were walking in the desert they were thirsty they had a need but then they saw the water what that was available they drank it was bitter and they were all falling and moses cried to the lord the lord said look at that mountain and look at a tree in that mountain bring the tree put it into the water that tree will do two things number 1 it will take away the bitterness and number 2 it will give its sweetness to that water so when moses put the wood into the water the poison in the water is taken away and the sweetness of the tree is given to the water it became very sweet so they call it mara the bitterness is removed and sweetness of god is given and they had their thirst was fulfilled and they walked many miles in our life journey also the lord says there is a mountain where the lord himself offered himself for us that is the mountain of calvary and the wood is the cross even today how privileged we are god is calling us whatever may be your situation you have someone to think of you to fulfill all your needs to be with you even to fight for you we read in isaiah chapter 27 oh that terrible snake that tries to disturb everybody that comes into your life also but your god will kill that snake and in verse 3 your life is like a garden your god himself will water it your god will guard it day and night yes my dear friends god is calling each one of us to his presence it is in his presence we find our life like the tree finds life in the root of the tree each one of us we are created by god and for god and when we are united with him like the daughter returns back home to be with her mother our hearts rejoice whenever with the lord and the second thing today's first reading says the lord's mountain is raised up above all the mountains and where all the people will stream to it they will move to it god wants to be with us but life happens when we are with him jesus said if anyone abides in me they will bear much fruit 
God is with all of us. And those who commit to be with the Lord, they make a difference in their lives. Yes. God is calling us that we may be with Him. The more we are with Him, we become like Him. Like Moses, he spent 40 days with the Lord and the light of the Lord was transferred to the face of Moses. The more we are with the Lord, the more we listen to His word, more of His thoughts occupies our thoughts. We become, we begin to think like God. We begin to relate with one another like God. We begin to worship God. We make our lives beautiful. Because man is made of one's thoughts, one's being. They say, who is your friend? Tell me. And I can tell you who you are. Yes, God is calling us. And if we go and be with him, our life is transformed. Third, in this season, how to welcome the Lord? He says, if we are with him, he will also teach us the way of life. So it's not enough mere presence. We come to God not only to enjoy the presence, but also to know the way of the life of God. How God wants us to live. How God wants us to sacrifice ourselves. How God wants us to become a person of love, person of forgiveness, person of endurance, person of merciful. Yes. So the presence is different from the life of God. We come to God not only to enjoy His presence, but also to know the ways of God and to commit our life and to live our life accordingly. That's what in today's second reading also we read from the book of Romans chapter 13 verse 11 to 14. In this season of Advent, being with the Lord or possessing the Lord means what? Number one, the time has come to move to Him. If you are sleeping, if you are not alert to know who is your God and hear the voice of God, God can do nothing for you. Because if you are not alert to be with God, the forces of this world are, which are alert to capture you will be with you. If you don't move into the love and mercy of God, the hatred and anger which the enemy wants to give it to you will become automatically part of you. That's why St. Paul says, be alert. Get up. Where are you sleeping? Get up and move into the Lord. And then he says, let's throw all the darkness that and equip us with light. The second thing St. Paul says in Romans 13, 12 is, as we move towards the Lord, in the light of God, we begin to see what we are. We begin to see our darkness is moving away. Yes. When we are in the Lord, we realize our own unworthiness. Like Peter, when Jesus called him and said in Luke's Gospel chapter 5, from today onwards, I will make you to catch the fishes. Peter fell at the feet of the Lord and said, Lord, I'm a sinner. Please go away from me. Yes, the more we are with the Lord, the more we come to know ourselves. And that's what the St. Paul says today. The time has come. Get up and move to the Lord. Second, when you move to the Lord, the Lord will show you who you are. So purify yourself and equip yourself with the light of the Lord. And in verse 13, he says, let's live decently. Means, let's understand the way of the Lord. How does God wants us to live? And move your heart to live according to the desires of the Lord. Fourth, the, have the armor of Jesus Christ and don't give any chance for the enemy to enter into you. Once you have committed your life to God, the life is not so rosy. When we follow Jesus, the life is not so beautiful. The temptation will come. Disturbance will come. The enemy will somewhat pull us back to our old life, to our old habits. So St. Paul says, season of Advent means 
listening to the voice of God. Number two, in the light of the Lord, seeing yourself, you purify yourself. Number three, you understand for the purpose for which God wants us to live our life, the ways of the Lord. And fourth, take care, be alert. That let not the enemy take you back to your old life. Don't give provision for sin. When you are going, where are you going? If I go, if I go to that place, will I fall? What am I talking? Will this talk will lead me sin? So we have to be conscious of our life and not allow enemy to find a space in our lives. In the gospel also, Jesus says in Mark's gospel chapter 24, what is the meaning of season of Advent? Advent means number one, to know you are God. As you have to go to the mountain, to listen, to be with your God, same thing the Lord says when God called Noah. Noah knew the Lord. The Lord is calling him a particular way of life. Noah understood. And that is not practical. He has to make a very big boat. But he believed in the Lord. And he committed his life to God. And God saved him. And through him, the whole family was saved. On the other hand, the other people also saw Noah. They heard the voice of God through Noah, but they were not listening to God. Neither they gave themselves to God, nor they committed their life to live according to God. And so, suddenly, the rain came and they were all carried away. The riches they earned, the, the struggle and the problem they went through to earn the money, or the relationship they tried to build up, nothing could save them. Yes, that's why the Lord says in the gospel of today, when you live on this earth, be alert. Any time the secret coming of the Lord can take place. There will be two people. One will be taken away who is prepared for the Lord when the Lord comes. If the Lord comes today, are you prepared? That's what the Gospel of today is asking us. If the master of the house had known the hour, the night in which the thief will come, he will be very alert in the same way. As St. Paul said in second reading, now Jesus also saying, be alert. Be alert. Every minute, be alert to the way you live, the way you think, the place where you go, the things you do in your life, let your life be prepared to do the will of the Lord. Shall we pray? Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful season of Advent in which you teach us, come to my mountain. You are inviting each one of us. Though you may have everything in the world, nothing can replace my presence. And secondly, you are calling us, come, come in my mountain, be with me. Surrender your life to me. Though I have called you to be with me, can you give yourself to be with me? Yes, Lord, help us to be aware of the things that are pulling me away from you and cutting them all. Let me learn to be with you. And third, let me hear your voice. Let me understand your ways and commit my life to live as you wish. Then, my heart, my life will experience your birth, your presence and your anointing. Give the same presence of yours, anointing of yours to all those who are listening to this word. Give them the courage to cut off and throw away all that is not of up, not up theirs and help us, Lord, to know your way and to commit our lives to live according to your way. May Almighty God bless you all the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.